guys are at Joe Fridays and you are watching the round of Welcome back into the wrap up. I got really excited a second ago and I jumped the gun. I was excited to tell you that we had 1A Oklahoma and New Mexico and I forgot 2A, but we've got some 2A. We also have some 2A, the Wellington Skyrockets visiting the Panhandle Panthers, one of our Pickums games here. Wellington's Trayvon Lewis in this first clip is gonna take the handoff. He's gonna go to the outside and guess what? He outruns all the defenders. He takes it all the way into the end zone for the Skyrockets second touchdown of the game. Skyrockets flying high. Panhandle needs to answer, decides it's time. Back with Broxton Robinson stepping up into the pocket. He airs it out deep. Landon Durst in the back of the end zone. Panthers get their first touchdown. Panhandle fighting back. The, Rock, the Skyrockets, Carson Tarver is going to fumble this snap, though. Caden Crook grabs the ball. He takes it all the way went all the way back for the Panthers. Scoop and score to tie it up. Panhandle takes this overtime win, 38-32 over Wellington. Now to Memphis taking on Boys Ranch, and Boys Ranch is home in their territory, trying to pick up another win after last week. First play, we're going to go to Boys Ranch ball, and Isaac Acosta throws to G.J. Johnson running it from their own 25-yard line, and he's going to make it all the way up the field, making quite a few defenders miss, and he keeps going all the way to the house. Big celebration from the band. Next play, Boys Ranch ball, and Isaac Acosta throws again with a pass intended for Ged Barnett, but Gavin Coulter from Memphis intercepts it and takes it all the way back for the touchdown for Memphis, but that ended up being the only touchdown of the game for the Cyclones. Boys Ranch runs away with the win, 26-7. Vega and New Deal playing tonight in Vega. The Lions won this one last year. The first quarter was scoreless in this game, but Kaysen Brorman is going to put it through the uprights to make it 3-0. Longhorns up early, but things would soon go south for Vega. New Deal, a beautiful panhandle sunset and a beautiful truck by Slade Martin after this catch. Check this out. He's going to gain some extra yardage and bang! Wow, getting that extra yards rack. New Deal picking things up now. Later in the game, it's 16-3 Lions. Dallas Sumner throws a dart to Aiden Isagiri for the touchdown. That makes it 23-3 New Deal as the Longhorns fail to score again after that initial field goal. Final score, 41-3 New Deal. And moving on to the rest of some 2A scores, West Texas, one of our Battle of the Bands team, will not pick up the win. Lockney will win 36-21. And then a big win for Sunray, 81-0. And then some more scores. Shamrock with a close one over Bovina, 30 to 28. Well, how about those Panhandle Panthers? Overtime win. That's crazy. Huh? That was really exciting to see. And I know for Pickums, that was one that I actually did pick right. So you got that I was, one right. I was well, happy Wellington to see was it. up in that game. Big statement win by the Panthers. And then Sunray, 81 0. Right. Wow. Right. Brady, our producer, had pointed out how um, Dimmit. Wait, no. They had a big game against Dimmitt mm -hmm. last week, yeah. um, and then it just, you know. Sunray looking unstoppable. We've got more on the wrap-up. Stay with us. We'll be right back.